All right, here we go, my friends. This is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist, and uh, let's do this. I'm going to do a little painting demo for you guys. This is going to be a landscape. It's a little larger than what you guys normally see me use. It's a 18 by 24 inches. Measures 18 by 24. Let's put some trees right here. So what I'm using is black, okay? I'm using black paint. This is oil paint, again, for those of you who, who are maybe wondering what it is. It's oil paint, I'm using black paint, and I'm applying it with a very simple number four brush. It's a round tip brush. And the way that I start, I just, I just, I just go for it, and I start sort of ske sketching and doodling. Until I start getting that, that right idea for the painting. Look at that. So I'm going to focus here on our sky because that's, that's really what I wanted to do. Focus on the sky and the clouds. Look at that. There we go. Let me clean my palette a little bit because my palette's been a little dirty. So for those of you who don't know, I am teaching this now. I'm teaching workshops on painting and marketing. I actually put the same workshops in, uh, both workshops in the same platform. And, uh, and they are available. People, people can buy them separately or they can, they can also get my subscription. It's a monthly subscription. I'm doing these workshops that are, uh, I'm releasing two new workshops, one on marketing and one on painting or creating art, different different ways of creating art. And I call it the Trujillo Method. It's the way that I've done things, how I've uh, how I've started doing things and, and, and I continue to do them. Things that work for me from uh, composition and painting, uh, using color, color theory, that type of deal and uh, everything to do with how I create artwork. I also do the workshops on marketing and selling my artwork, the various platforms where I do them. And uh, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Got my dog here barking in the background. It's all right, dude. So yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link below for those of you who are interested in the in the painting classes or workshops. So look at this. I'm putting another another brush right here. This is a num this is a, 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 a two inch wide brush. You can buy this brush any just about anywhere in any any uh, warehouse. Not warehouse, uh, like Home Depot or Lowe's, Home Improvement stores just a very simple hog hair brush look at that i'm gonna clean this is how i clean it by the way, in my workshops, I show you everything. You can see the palette. You can see how um, every step, I walk you through every step of the painting. Uh, I created sort of a, a bit of a process and I walk you right through every step. And, and this is really cool for those of you who are trying to maybe loosen up or learn how to paint the way that I, the way I'm, I'm creating this artwork. All right, I'm gonna mix some purple, a little light purple, and we're gonna go into that sky. Look at that. It's a lot of fun, just, you know, just kind of doing things and... Look at this. It's so much fun, just spreading that paint around. Get a little bit of black, mix it with blue, some red, so that way we can make the, the clouds pretty heavy right here. Like, like if there's some rain or something, something's happening. Make them a little heavy down here. Uh, 
beautiful. Just beautiful stuff. I have to pinch myself every day, remind myself that I'm not in a dream. To be able to do this as a as a full time artist is is really it's really like a little a little or a big dream come true. <laughs> More like a big dream come true. It's so much fun. here to play with our sky. Beautiful. This is a little mixture of this white right here. It's not it's not really white. It's a mixture of of uh, blue, I mean yellow, white and just a little little bit of red. Almost nothing. Almost no red. And uh and I add a little bit of green too in there. Just almost nothing as well to make this uh almost bone color. To represent our sky here. Put some right here. And there's no right or wrong way of doing this. It's just a lot of fun. Just spreading that paint around. This is really what makes it super fun. Knowing that there is no, no right way of doing it really. And anyone that tells you that there's a right way of doing it, well, it might be right for them, you know. But we all paint in different ways. We all like, we're, this, this is not the 1800s anymore. This is, this, there is no right way. The, the world is in a different place. And, and artists, we have sort of transcended what right or good or bad painting is. I think more and more we're, we're uh, moving towards a, a, a direction where we just enjoy what we do. And that's that's good enough for us. And then other people enjoy it too, and and, and that's good too. Uh, we're able to exhibit or sell our work. We get other people to to also enjoy what we're doing. But the main thing is to enjoy what you're doing. I think. I think once you got once you have that figured out, everything else just kind of falls into place. green mix it with a little bit of blue and we're gonna put it right down here like that. super fun just like that and we're gonna keep moving keep moving the important thing also is to continue the movement keep moving so that we're able to To continue exploring the colors and the form of the painting. I'm gonna put some gray down here. Beautiful gray. Get a little bit of that purple, mix it with some magenta. A little bit of blue. Lots of white. I 
and then again like I mentioned if you if you are uh, watching my my uh, workshops you would be seeing everything that I'm mixing and uh, that's very helpful for some for some artists um, some artists really need to need to see what uh, it's certainly true to me I need to see how the colors are mixed because that that matters a lot Look at that. It's just important for the process. I want to get some of that same color, mix it with a little bit of green. Same color, I mixed it with a little bit of Viridian green. Now I'm going to just start splashing it here just moving it around that's all I want to do just move it around doesn't need to mean anything get my big brush right here there's another number two brush or not number two a, a two inch brush this is number 16 in brush names and sizes but it's two inch wide as well I want to get it in there and start doing some stuff with it too look at that Clean it. God, this is a, such a thick brush. Every time that I clean it, I start getting paint on my hands. So this is how I clean it. So I'm, uh, just using TP to clean it. All right. I want to get some of that blue, but very light very light because we're getting close to to the ground the closer we're to the ground the lighter it is because it means distance if the, if the sky is closer to the ground it means distance of course and so anytime that we're painting distance uh, according to the rules I don't always follow the rules I'm not one to follow the rules but every now and then I do um, according to the rules it means distance and it's supposed to be lighter anything that is distant is lighter But if you see me breaking that rule, uh, you'll know it's, it's intentionally. <laughs> it's intentional. I, I, I do have some basic understanding of, of uh, painting uh, theory, but I end up breaking most rules anyways. back to my palette knife mix a really nice batch of this same color
Get a little bit of black and blue. And really darken this. Show them that we're not playing, that we were going to darken our clouds. We want them to be heavy with water. There we go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I'm going to get my large brush again. This time I'm going to do a little something a little lighter. What I want to do is I want to put a little light on these trees. Just a little bit. Lighten up a little bit down here on the, on the surface of the landscape. A little bit more. It's a very light green, almost like a lime green. I just put those little nuances there that may be happening in a landscape. sign this little puppy. Let me show you what it looks like from a front view. Look at that. This is it. Measures 18 by 24 inches and I'll put a link below also not just for the for the workshops but but um, for my eBay auctions because this is going to go into an auction on eBay and it's going to start at one dollar yes the ebay auction will start at one dollar and all my ebay auctions start at one dollar and there is no reserve so um there's no hidden price or anything like that no no uh, none of that funny stuff um all auctions start at one dollar they're very very cool 
art pieces that uh, I sell in galleries and in other platforms as well. This easily goes for over $2,000. In, in any of my other platforms it's an 18 by 24 inches oil on canvas on stretch canvas and i'm going to start the auction at one dollar go check it out i'm going to put the, the link below take care my friends